In this video, I'm going to show you window rules in Hyperland. So if you go on to the wiki, you can see it goes over how to use them. You can do quite a few things with the window rules. Here are some examples. I'm going to go ahead and open up the config and we're just going to go ahead and go down to the window rules that I've put on, which are right over here. Now I want to change raw therapy and get the opacity off on that because it's a bit annoying. I want to be able to edit raw images uh, with the 100% opacity. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up a terminal which is has its own look to it, which is very cool. Uh, if you go into Hyperland Hyper Control Clients and it will show you all the stuff that's running. You just need to find raw therapy here. So here it is. Now from here you need a class. Now this is case sensitive as well. So I'm just gonna go ahead and copy this and we're gonna I'm gonna call this row therapy and then oops, and then save it and then boom, there we go. So now this has 100% opacity no matter what I do. If I go into another workspace, you can see that if I go on YouTube, I've actually made it completely opaque. So that's the tool over here, which is override opacity one, override one, uh, Firefox. And if there's a YouTube in the title, then it will take opacity away from it. So that's very cool. The other thing is uh, I've gotten rid of the background on electricity. So this is my terminal here. If I do new fetch, you can see it's, um, it's transparent, which looks really, really cool. And for that, you just need a no border, a no shadow. And I think as far as the opacity goes, Alacrity has its own uh, config file where you can change the opacity of the window. Um, so I've got it to just zero, so you can't see the background on it. But you can see the text. And the other thing is I do have um, rounding on zero. So it does have, if it did have shadow, I'm just gonna go ahead and do this you can see that if it does have shadow it is not rounded corners you can see it's a proper square the, the opacity for alacrity also is one uh, which is overridden and so that means it won't fade away when you unfocus it because i want it to be um just like this uh static so it looks really cool now i'm trying to get all my windows to look a bit like this i think i'm gonna have to switch to using a lot of um, terminal based software and um, two applications for something like raw therapy you can't do that or as far as editing text goes you can use vim or something like that i think it'll look really cool uh, the same thing i've done with the bar at the bottom you've just made it transparent so if i go into a um if i don't new fetch over here uh, it, it just looks really cool it just is floating and it just looks really really cool now we're gonna go ahead and do it again. We, uh, I'm just gonna go into another one here. I'm gonna do hyper control clients. I want to do the same with this. So here we go, uh, class MPV. So I want to also do the same with um, MPV. So the opacity is 100% all the time. And also what I wanna do is I think I want to see it doesn't work the pseudo tiling uh, on it uh, if i make it floating see now that i've changed the size of it i'm sure you can and then as you can see then it does tile uh, with the with this one aspect ratio i want to keep that uh, um, there might be there might be a way to do that over here. Let's have a look. Let's go ahead and try that. Oh, there we go. So that's working. So pseudo tiling is working. I'll just enable that on there. I think we can go ahead and do the same on this. We can get rid of the uh, shadow on MPV. It'll look like a floating video then. There you go, that looks pretty cool. I think that looks pretty cool actually. 
but I can't get a max side on MPV. This is, I think it might only be floating. Uh, so I'm gonna have to uh, add that to only open up when it's floating. I don't think if I want that, I want it tiling. So we'll get rid of this one. And same thing as well, we can get rid of the border on that. You can get rid of the border on MPV. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. Uh, we can actually change the rounding on it as well. So now it looks, I don't, looks a little out of place, but, uh, so it's a square. I uh, think I want to actually change that to 20. Let's have a look at 20. Yeah, that looks, that's look, that looks pretty cool. A little floating video. I've got, I've just turned the blur on. I think this looks pretty cool, but I wanna get rid of blur on. So we do no blur on alacrity. That way we still get the see-through look, but we do have blur on these other windows. I like it. This is very cool. So yeah, Hyperland is pretty customizable. 